Okay, so um, I have to redo part of this video just because audio kind of cut out at the start. So um, it is up into I started talking about Slime Knight to where it will slightly transition into catching up. Sub is Wolf here, one and only. How all my adventure is doing? Welcome back to some more of my channel. <laughs> Ah, don't like redoing certain parts of this, so after this, it'll all be genuine. But, um, yeah. So, it's almost the end of the year. You guys will see this video tomorrow night, obviously. And with that said, this will be the last video of this year. So, it's, it's a good day. It's a good day. Well, except for the part where I think I only have, like, you know three or four more days before i actually have to go to work so kind of kind of sag in that department so so you guys will be seeing less probably less videos and less streams as much as i sporadically have been doing them they'll all be on the weekends i always streamed on the weekends uh these weekdays that you guys have been seeing for those streams are just me being off for two weeks which is what my job does my job does two weeks off for christmas and the new year's so we don't go back it's like january the 4th so stuff like that um anywho uh we're gonna be recapping a lot of the things that have been going on this month well the last two months and the whole year of progress that we've done for the game at the moment because we've been doing a lot of you know a lot of progression halting and you know redoing the game to where it's perfect because they've all been you know concepts and been you know developed on anyway uh first things first we're gonna start recapping all this so as we get down to slime girl little slime night is where everything starts to go back okay so slime girl obviously is the first girl that got remade and the remake actually went well from the last time you guys saw her i always showed like a comparison video of how she used to look to where she looks now a lot of good changes for her um dark elf remake uh she will probably get like a little bit of a darker skin later that will match the um, Dark Elf Mage because you guys um, voice that opinion pretty heavily. I don't think she'll be as dark as you guys want her to be, though. Who knows? Uh, Tigura remake actually went off pretty well. I actually like it. Hers was actually the most drastic one, I feel. No, Slime Girl was actually the most drastic one. Out of the out of the three starters uh, dark elf mage and she's gonna be more of a wind type apparently <laughs> Hold on. I gotta do something. Uh, monster girls won't I didn't talk about this um, before slime night came up uh, monster girls won't have typing advantage they will have the whole resistance set up like old rpgs have so it's basically basically let's say dark elf will be taking more damage from ice based moves or she'll be taking damage from more wind type moves it really depends we're going through the old version of like classic rpgs instead to where She'll either have an 80% resist to this, 80% resist to that, or 50% more damage from this. So that gives every monster girl more of a unique, more of a unique style they can go through. You know, instead of it just being all typing advantage like Pokemon does, they'll all have resistance space instead. It's hard to explain. To be honest well actually showing you guys um so the damage chart table that we had the vintage chart table that we had no longer exists 
that has been completely thrown away and it'll be changing for that but yeah um dark elf mage taima has been reworked as well then here's a uh, slime knight then we're going on to third evolutions i just want this to actually like sync up with the video so i'm kind of just extra talking anywho um you guys can go to rest now <laughs> And the final version of her will be Slime Crusader, which will have a completely different design. I have different thoughts for um, the Royal Slime. Uh, this one right here is, well, since we're done with um, talking about the second evolve, the third evolve forms are now being worked on and it is Slime Crusader who's being worked on, and she might be done in January. Well, somewhere in January, probably like the half of January, whichever one. And the next thing is we are doing concepts. Here is concept art for the main, well, the main village that we're already in. This is just concept art. Uh, we're going to casually be going through this. I have a Fiverr artist that I've been working with, which I can just show off now. That has been uh, able to paint for me some concepts. These concepts aren't cheap, by the way. <laughs> I just want that to be known. Obviously. Nothing is cheap on Fiverr because you'll also get like extremely taxed. This is the Fiverr artist that's been making these map concepts for me. And yeah, his his price isn't the most first thing you will look at. <laughs> that's why we kind of talked it out and kind of halved this price a little bit. Because as I said, I'm in a budget. I can't like full on in that. There are some people who are willing to work with you on the price. That's why Fiverr is a good place to be. Because sometimes you can talk the price down. Sometimes you can't. It just really depends on like what all you need. If you need a whole bunch of stuff, then it's best to like kind of take away a lot of the stuff that you need and just lower it. Just to put a price lower on two. Anywho, yeah, here is the night process of this. This is the night version. And here is the day look of it. To be honest, I really like this layout, but we still have more concepts for the main area to go through. And that is pretty much it for those little secrets now you guys got a little look at uh new things this is new concept and for those of you guys who haven't been paying attention to the patreon these are all the, of the um, these are all of the concept arts that have been going on um i don't know well concepts are on a hold right now i'm gonna say that because my budget is getting destroyed especially on december december is where it actually destroys my budget because i'm off for those two days you gotta remember that and it sucks because if i'm off for those two days it fucks me over <laughs> and i don't have like and i have to wait a little bit inside of january it's mostly like february to where things start kicking up again so i kind of have to you know keep that budget in you gotta remember that my budget has gotten shorter so i'll talk about it after this but anyway here's concept art for the moonlight larva which is the first form of moonlight moth which you guys voted on this is just concept art none of this is gonna be the full art okay so anything that you see here could be completely 
different from the Moonlight larva or any of the other characters of concept that I show here. This is the other art of the Moonlight larva. And this is the third. So like I said, all of this is probably going to be very much different. <laughs> More than likely it would be very much different. So none of these designs could, could be used or they could all be fused together. Who knows? It really depends on how Mono does it. Anyhow. Uh, terror. Concept acts for Terror. A lot more creepier. You guys have seen the final art that we've been going with with Slime Girl and all the other characters. All of these characters will clearly not look like this. I've only gotten heard, only gotten uh, my to do concepts. So I wanted her to just sketch them. I didn't want her to do like full art, just wanted her to sketch them. So obviously they're not professionally, you know, made. Alright, and Puppeteer, which this is the third Evo. I might as well just go to the first. No, that's the second Evo. Here are the first Evos. <laughs> of Puppeteer. There's different concepts with the dolls. You see there she holds two dolls or she has one doll with her or she has one gigantic do doll with her. Obviously the doll won't look like this. It could be a female doll just to fit the theme. And then I like the concept art for this as well. But I think I think this might be a whole monster girl in herself, to be honest. Because Lantern just gave me an idea. She might be her own monster girl, to be honest. Ah, I know what this could be. This could be Doppelganger. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this could be Doppelganger. Anyhow, then we have this concept art as well. And that, that, that is pretty much it for Puppeteer Second of All form. Like I said, subject should change, obviously, for the older designs for concept. Um, next thing is the game itself. So, the progress we've made so far is that we got the starter island up and going we also have movement available as well both uh clicking and walking and that's not the only thing we actually got uh, the menu to show up at the moment he is currently working on the menus and everything getting everything going uh, right now they they haven't been uh, finished yet <laughs> I will explain um, a lot more about this right now um, so if detail clearly won't look like this this is gonna change drastically this is just a placeholder all of this is placeholder uh, the adventure book is going to be where you actually look at your monster girls and I guess I well we actually uh, did a lot of this inside of the um, we actually talked about a lot of this during that brainstorming stream we were actually creating all that all the details of the menu inside of the brainstorming so pretty much we'll show you your amount of the achievements you have, the amount of quests you've done, what rank your account is for that character, what um well how many um monster girls you've seen, caught, obviously, and 
the adventurer book is going to be full of details of status effects stuff like that plants you've encountered monster girls you've encountered their details their lore their location stuff like that and here's your inventory it's not gonna look like this obviously it will change then you're loading and saving loading and saving will be different it will be based on runs account runs and when i say account run is basically let me explain this how how can i explain it the same way i explained it to him hmm Okay, so basically, like run saving is run saving is something that I'm just thinking about. Like when you make a new save, you have a choice between offline or online. If I do decide to do PvP, because offline and offline is also opens up, you know, people being able to mod the game as well. So obviously I have to think about that as well it just in case so offline will be able to mod things either that or have a peer-to-peer -peer connection with other people either that or or i just don't do online at all and it just be like other things i'll set up who, who knows at this point? It really depends on my budget and how much we're, you know, getting to... How much, like, stuff we're getting done to where I decide on that. If we're over the budget, I might start looking into, like, PvP stuff. It might not come to, like, I don't know, to after the game's done or something. Who knows? I have other content ideas before that even applies. Um... But run saving, run saving is basically like that one character is a whole run to where you can just save on this character and it'll only save on that run. But if I was to exit out and start a new game, it will be a separate run that I can save. So that character will be different from this character. Then when I get in game, I could just save only to this character. I can't do a multiple save. Even though it is multiple save, it's just the character run itself is a whole different save. So you can't so you can't uh, over save over a different character run. I'm pretty sure that makes it made sense and I just kinda screwed it up a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, technically. It is a multi-save game for multi multiple runs, but it is separate. So let's say this character's name is Wolf, and I can only save on Wolf when I come in here. So it's sa the same as Pokemon, saving only to that one run. But when I back out, I make a character named Steve. Now I can only save the Steve, I can't save over Wolf. That is that is basically how that's go. I can only save over to Steve. So it's the same thing as Pokemon, but you can create another run by exiting and going back to menu. And, you know, going through there. Easy to understand. Uh, settings haven't been touched yet. Audio and stuff will be done. Anywho, um, we've set up dialogue as well. So dialogue will be a thing. I don't know why there's a jump button. Yeah, we're supposed to be taking that out later. As you can see, we have dialogue. It is E to interact. Obviously, we have portrait arts. He made the little. He made a little orange character that you can talk to. 
I forgot that my self is up, so. Obviously, we're gonna have to change how dialogue pops up. But yeah, that is, um. That's gonna be the bigger changes. Obviously, there's a lot of things that have to change. Like the map. Because the scaling is kinda... Kinda off. Versus this. Like, this is way too large. Versus the character. Or maybe that's fine. Who knows. But it does seem off with the house scaling. So that's major things that we have done at the moment and once he's done with the menu we will move on to combat and combat will be something I have people test. I might start doing gray mapping. Gray mapping is where the map is completely made of gray and shapes kind of like this just for just for testing and during that testing I'll have maps made. With the gray mapping, I don't have to like, you know, just force really like push things out and stuff like that. So I can keep those for a while as just the concept area. So pretty soon I will be able to travel through this door and go into the next area. So gray, gray mapping is all on me to figure out and do. So obviously and with that said that's pretty much it that's that's pretty much it um on the game um but as i was saying earlier before i uh stopped um it really depends on my budget on how everything goes because i will say this i can only do like two or three things a month so I've been casually stopping working with some of my, you know, team on the game just because I hit that budget and I have to focus on more important parts of that, uh, more important parts on that game. More important parts on the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Words. Anywho. So obviously I haven't touched music in a while anymore because um, that's not in the budget right now. Music is the last thing I am worried about. Uh, obviously, like I said, we stop concepts for now just because of the budget as well. And right now I am focusing on my developer, the remakes, and the map concepts. Then once those map concepts are done, I will be focusing on just those two and maybe concepts. It really depends on what's going on there. It could be UI instead. But I would say probably like two more like village concepts and we'll pretty much stop from there. Mm, that's pretty much it. But the um, shape of the channel as well uh, has been changed obviously you guys have been seeing me upload more different games you're probably wondering what happened to the game anything else has changed obviously i'm still working on the game i just have a lot more downtime because i can't really do anything during this whole two weeks because like i said i am i have nothing <laughs> to do at the moment my developer is working on this the menu and I don't want to get like too ahead right now, but honestly, as soon as he starts working on combat, we're going to do the same thing we did um, in the last uh, the last try we did. And we're probably going to have a button up here that you can push or we'll probably have in the menu, you have a button over here that you can push to like test battlings and stuff like that. That's more than likely what we're going to do. And two, I make up the the next area 
which I'll probably be doing somewhere at the end of the week or whenever he's done with the menu. It just really depends. Like I said, uh, but that's the shape of the channel. Um, I'll be uploading a lot more Gravitasia. I have other things I can go into. I've been enjoying uh, VR Chat Horror with uh, Shadow and Alice, which we'll probably do more of that on the weekend, as long as we find more horror maps. Who knows? Um, I do have to finish up a lot of older games that I've started and have not finished. ADHD sucks for certain things like that. <laughs> but yeah. It, it's been a roller coaster of a year, to be honest. We've gotten a lot of progress done, at least. I'm happy about that. I'm very happy about the progress we've we've made. Because at first, we didn't really have too much of a concept for the game. And slowly on, we've developed a lot in the what direction I want the game to go. And it looks great. Uh, we've had the... It's been like... Wait, has it been like two years? No, I think it's only been a year, right? Yeah, I think it's only been a year. Well, but, but in a year, we've made quite a lot of progress. And I'm happy about that. Just because we've had to stop progress a lot. Because we were using... Um, RPG Maker at first, and that didn't have a lot of things that I wanted. Then we started using Unity. Then Unity did their whole BS of paying like this little service fee shit. Then I'm happy I moved away from that, even though that was showing a lot of progress. But then, you know, they kind of fucked that over, and I don't want to deal with that anymore. Um, second... Then we started, well, then I started testing in Unity a little, no, not uh, Unity, uh, Unreal a little bit, and that didn't have too much that I wanted. So now we're inside of uh, Godot. So yeah, the, I will say this, expect a game inside of Unreal soon, sooner or later. That's just not now, anytime soon, but I do want to make a game inside of Unreal. It's going to be a totally different gameplay from this, though. Pro man, probably slightly the same, but different. Because I want to use all 3D inside of that project. Anywho, that's pretty much it. That's all I had to go over. Nothing else, nothing more. And hopefully you guys enjoyed a little sneak peek, a little catch me up of the game since um we no longer put all this stuff behind patreon it's all visible to you guys it's just up to you guys if you guys want to you know join the patreon and support it obviously i don't have any like amazing rewards and the game will probably be testable around like probably february or afterward or a month afterward it it really depends on what goes on there and obviously we're making progress so yeah i'm just gonna take a while game development is easy also my game developer has another life i don't know if i made a, enough money to like you know kind of take him away from his actual job maybe <laughs> but yeah anyway until then Hopefully you guys enjoy your New Year's. And don't do any of that New Year, New Me crap. You guys know you're all going to be the same in the next year. Stop lying to yourselves. Anyway, good night. Have fun. <laughs>